So you're interested in growing your YouTube channel. And let me guess, you're a smaller YouTuber trying to grow as fast as you can, but you don't really want to get caught up in any schemes. You don't want to waste your money and you don't want to waste your time. So an ad for Tube Karma comes on and that sounds pretty good. Well, I did some research on it so that you don't have to waste your hard earned money on it. And these are my honest opinions. So Tube Karma. Is it a good deal? I don't know. Let's see. So I did some research on Tube Karma and literally three videos seem to come up that are related to it on Instagram right now, at least. And all three of them are talking about how it's a scam. Before I get into that, let me actually go into what Tube Karma is. So basically, Tube Karma advertises itself as the number one organic YouTube growth service. Now, what does that necessarily mean? Basically, Tube Karma is offering uh, or is advertising to basically get you 5,000 subscribers a month. Uh, it's basically uh, advertising to... Uh, basically get your video seen uh, and get your views up, get uh, organic interaction with other people to watch your videos to help boost your channel in the likelihood of you actually gaining subscribers. Now, this is part of, or maybe it's not part of, but it's one of many other scams going on where basically there's not actual people watching your videos. Um, or at least that's what it seems like on this. I'm not quite sure how Tube Karma gets the 5,000 subscribers that it advertises it does, but what's been happening with a lot of these growth services is basically they set up these computer bots to the moment you give them a link to a video, they all these bots start watching your videos and leaving likes, leaving generic comments, um, like, you know, great job, you know, uh, showing you support, send the love back or whatever. And basically, that is how they're trying to amplify your video so that the more views, the more comments that you get, ideally, YouTube then picks up the video and promotes it through suggested or through rank searches or whatnot. The problem with that is, is that you're not actually getting real people watching your videos. So you're getting thousands and thousands of views from computer bots and not actual people that will subscribe to your channel to actually watch future videos. So if you're following what I'm saying here, basically you're paying to get lots of views on a video. And when you go to upload your own organic video in the future, ideally without Tube Karma, you're not going to get that same love and interaction that you got on that one video because pretty much the love and interaction you got on that video was all through bots. And so those bots aren't going to organically follow you to your next video. You're supposed to be getting real organic human subscribers liking your videos and, and uh, interacting with your videos so that when you go onto your next video and all your future videos, they ideally will all follow you there and that will amplify and get you suggested through search and everything like that so that you get more subscribers. So the problem that I've found through literally two seconds of looking on their website, which is literally just tubekarma.com, um, it says that they are, uh, well, it actually doesn't say that they are supported by Forbes, BuzzFeed, Mashable, New York Times, all these places. I think that they literally just pulled their logos and just put that on there. And they kind of got away with it because they didn't actually say that they supported them. They literally just have their logo on their website. So um, if you do a quick Google search of Forbes Tube Karma, no results found for Forbes Tube Karma. So let's take another look at the New York Times. And I'm using the quotation so that I get the exact keywords searched for what I'm looking for. So the New York Times, Tube Karma, and a couple of things come up for New York Times, but nothing for actual Tube Karma. It's literally articles that have the word karma in it or the word tube in it. So let's do one more search here just to prove a point. I really like to drive the nail in the coffin. What was that, Elite Daily? Is that what it's called? Yep. Okay, so let's do a search on this. 
and again no results found so the reason why services like this grow and become so popular to where people flock for these kind of things is because it's to be honest is very hard for small youtubers to grow it's almost like that old saying of the, what came first the chicken or the egg uh, basically you need views to get amplified by youtube so you can get more views however in order to get views unless you have your own following literally from another service like instagram or something like that uh, then you need to be advertised by YouTube to get the views. So it's kind of a, you know, you need one with, you need, you need one to get the other. And yeah, so the point of why these services are growing at an exponential rate that they are is because people really don't want to do the hard work of getting and, you know, getting their own large subscriber base that's actually going to grow their channel organically. Um, it's a lot easier to just, pay somebody 70 bucks to grow your channel for you and you know in an ideal world that would be great you just pay somebody 70 bucks a week which is literally i think their cheapest plan um do they have their uh plans listed out here on the website i think it's like seven yep 70 dollars for the first week for an individual 100 dollars if you're an influencer and the pro is 200 dollars. i love that that's just great so basically yeah, I mean, it sounds great to just pay somebody X amount of dollars to grow your channel for you and you skip out on all the hard work and all the time that it takes to grow your channel. However, it doesn't actually grow your channel. And in some cases, it can actually hinder it. There are some bot services that will only click on the video for a second, drop a like, leave a generated comment, and then leave the video and move on to the next video that's in their queue that they need to promote. And the problem with that is, is that you're going to be getting a lot of partial views where your video retention is going to be extremely low. Basically, what I mean by that is, is YouTube is looking at your videos and they're looking to see, are your videos actually being watched? Do people enjoy your content or are they clicking on for a second and watching the content for just a second and then leaving the video. That tells YouTube that your content is not actually worth watching and that they don't need to spend the time or the money to promote your video to other people. So services like these can seriously hinder your ability to grow on YouTube and really just hurt your pocket. So if you ask me, services like Tube Karma are really just going to hurt you in the long run, even in the short run too, because like I said, you can be paying for service on one video. However, when you move on to the next video and you try to do it without Tube Karma, you are not gonna get anywhere near the same level of interaction that you did on the first video. And depending on how they actually work, uh, whether it's bots that are doing it or if they actually watch the whole video for you or whatever the case may be, if they are one of the services that just partially watch the video for just a second, just to get the view counted, and you know, in that time frame, they also like the video and they leave a generated comment, well, you're gonna get a lot of partial clicks, low retention, and again, that's just gonna hurt your channel. So if you like these type of videos where I kind of talk about YouTube and different ways to grow on it, although I am by far not a large channel by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I have noticed a couple of things, especially by doing a lot of research on how the YouTube algorithm works. There's never really a clear article or video that describes it. It's, I don't think anybody really knows that much about the algorithm to where they can nail it down to a science. But from all the research I've been seeing, services like this, like the Tube Karma and other bot services, are just a waste of money and a waste of time and is a surefire way to kill your channel. So again, if you like these type of videos where I talk about YouTube and different aspects and you know maybe ways to, that you can grow your channel and things that I'm trying that are working and things that I've tried that have not worked, um, I'd be more than happy to do a series on these type of videos. But uh, yeah, with that being said, I really appreciate you watching. Thanks so much for watching this whole video. Again, that helps the retention. If you can, drop this video a like. It really helps support the channel, helps the YouTube algorithm for my channel. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing and let me know in the comments if you do like these type of videos and you'd like to see more. So with that being said, I will catch you in the next one. Peace.